Hello, Carrots here. Welcome to episode 11 of Carolyn and Friends. At the beginning of this series of stories, Carolyn had five badges to achieve. They're all Ireland Paradise badges, and so far she's completed four of them. In this episode, she'll complete the final badge, and she'll get her lifetime wish, and we'll meet her new friend who'll move in towards the end of the video. And her new friend or new housemate's name is Wilma. Carolyn still has a few more rescues to complete. She needs to rescue a total of 50 sims from drowning to achieve her lifetime wish of Seaside Saviour. And the one remaining badge she has to earn is to throw five parties on a houseboat. And she's currently living on the houseboat because I discovered that the parties that she was throwing on the houseboat while she was living in the house it's not in the houseboat, but in her house, didn't seem to count because she threw quite a few parties and she didn't get any badges or any achievement or movement towards achieving the badge. So now she's living on the houseboat. There's a few sims at the beach. Hopefully one of them will decide to start drowning shortly, then she can have a rescue. There's one heading out into the water. Carolyn's not taking much notice of what's going on. She's having too much fun playing in the water. There you go, Carolyn. There's a rescue for you. Run, Carolyn, run. There she goes. At least at the level she's at now, she is quite speedy once she decides to move. She got paid 930 simoleons for that rescue. And she stands there patiently waiting for her rescue to walk up onto the beach. Will there be CPR involved? She likes to have a chat with the sim she's rescued. That seems to improve her charisma skill, which also improves her progress towards level 10 in the career. But she's already got to level 10, so she doesn't really need charisma anymore. But there you go, she's doing the CPR after all. That sim walked up on the beach. I thought about it for a while, then decided, yep, I need CPR. And lay down and demanded CPR. And Carolyn has obliged for her. Must be fun giving CPR with a dog yapping in your ear. I don't think so, not really. And she got paid 155 simoleons for giving successful CPR. There's another sim drowning. Come on, Carolyn. If you want to hurry up, he'll get sick of drowning and just go back to the beach. Which is exactly what it looks like he's done. You've got to get to them before they decide that they don't want to drown after all. Looks like he's got somewhere else to be. No time to drown today. Suddenly we've got another sim drowning. Is Carolyn going to get to this one in time? She's struggling in the water. She's not going to give up and decide to go back up on the beach. Here's Carolyn. There's another rescue for you, Carolyn. Excellent. 930 simoleons for that rescue. And here's Carolyn after work. She's gone home to the houseboat to have her dinner. This is a party boat and I've turned off the strobe lights that were in the dance room. It's only a small room there with the dance floor and it had strobe lights up on the ceiling but I turned them off just in case there's somebody watching who doesn't like strobe lights. There's four levels to this houseboat there's a private level which is below waterline, which is where she has her bedroom and bathroom. And then the other three levels are where she lives and parties. She's got quite a lot of cleaning up to do if she wants to have a party. So that deep fryer needs cleaning. She's got a quite a nice little kitchen there. She's at the top of her career. She's just got to rescue a few more sims from drowning and she'll get her lifetime wish. And when she's got her lifetime wish, she can quit that career and 
start working on something else for us to have fun with. That's her bedroom where she's going to sleep for the night. Of course, I got this houseboat from the exchange. It was made by Blue Note. It's a pretty bunch of flowers she's got there on the table. It looks like there's a lot of coffee cups from the last party. The houseboat has got all the mod cons and it's quite homely, but it's got that dance floor as well. That's where I turned the strobe lights off and here she is watching TV. And there's the male person gone up top. Don't know why, because the letterbox is right down the bottom at the end of the gangplank. Suppose she's had a good look around. And off she goes to deliver mail to the next person. So the second level up's where the dance floor is. The third level up's where she drives the boat. And where there's nice areas for them to sit around and chat and have drinks and relax. It's autumn now and this looks quite frosty. So here she is, she's going to get the mail. Got bills to pay. So now you can see where the letterbox is. Well she just brought that newspaper in in time. There's the new newspaper. Looks like she had a few out there to tidy up. She is inspecting her dance floor. Time to go to work. bit of a collision there. And here she is patrolling the beach. She's at a different beach today. Looks like somebody set a trap there. It's flashing. Some teenager probably. She's doing her lifeguard run. I usually forget to get her to do that. I really only do that once they get to a certain level in the career. Carolyn's a very experienced lifeguard now and she's patrolling the beach while there's virtually nobody there. There's one person waiting. But after a while, as the morning wore on, more people turned up and even a little dog. But still there were no rescues. Nobody wanted to drown today. But Carolyn lives in hope. Surely she'll get her lifetime wish soon. And there is a swimmer drowning. Come on, Carolyn. Here's your chance. And she got him. And that's it. She's got her lifetime wish. Congratulations, Carolyn. Like a good little lifeguard, she'll stay there for the rest of the day and f complete her shift. She was accustomed to living alone on the houseboat and she was still alone so she decided she'd have a quiet celebration for completing her lifetime wish and she had a desire for a Crackler Neckerbell magic gnome. So she went to the festival, it's the fall festival and the haunted house is there and that's a great place to find a Crackler Neckerbell gnome and she has to go through the house many times in the hope of getting that gnome. When she comes out, she just goes straight back in again. And she does this for the rest of the afternoon. And another thing that can happen in that house is you can get turned into a ghost, a temporary ghost. And here she is. She made it. She's a ghost. One of the benefits of being a ghost is you can just go through the walls of that haunted house. You don't need to worry about the doors. There she is, and straight back in again. 
can see her inventory there and there's no gnomes in it yet. Back into the house. And out. And back into the house again. I don't think she's going to get a gnome today somehow. But she's had some fun. She's not a ghost anymore now. She's turned back into her normal self. So she didn't have any luck with her cackling knacker bell gnome. So she's gone off to the greenhouse now to see if she can find some seeds. Because she's got a garden down at the bottom of her house. Which she will move back into as soon as she's got the badge for having five parties on a houseboat. She's collecting a few seeds and some suns. Carolyn went home and had a good sleep and next morning Wilma moved in and then it was party time. So this party's in full swing and both of the Sims are there, Carolyn and Wilma. And as you can see on the left hand side of the screen, Wilma has now joined Carolyn in the household and she's got her own picture in the portrait panel section. We won't actually spend a lot of time on the parties. Just believe me, there were five. And they were all much the same. A variety of different sims. But they just played on the round on the houseboat, having a wonderful time. Somebody's brought a cat along by the look of it. It doesn't belong to this household. But it obviously wants to play football with somebody. Party girls don't have to go far to get to the bar. It's just on the same level as you can see them dancing through the doorways there. And going up those steps on the right where that sim is about to go, we get up onto the roof where there is place for them to sit and chat or entertain themselves with the keg. The strobe lights were in that room with the dance floor. I turned them off. You can still see them there. They're black boxes up at the top of the ceiling. It bubbles. That's all the special effects are popping out of those machines from showtime. So Carolyn has temporarily left the dance floor to go up to the roof to help one of the guests do a keg stand. So there's an all-in-one bathroom hidden in that little room there. I think he's enjoying his keg stand. It was fun and it's all over now. Carolyn's gone to use the little all-in-one bathroom. It's hiding in that tiny room. Here she comes. And there it is, the destiny of the sea. Looks like the party's over and everybody's going home. And they've got happy balloons above their heads. So I'm hoping that means that they all enjoyed the party. I think that person, whoever she is, or he is, is a bit late. So there we go. They are sleeping downstairs. It's three bedrooms down below. Carolyn's got her bed, the big double bed, and Wilma has gone into the other room to one of the little single beds. The third bedroom's got bunks. So you could actually sleep six in this houseboat the way it's set up at the moment. And each bedroom's got its own all-in-one bathroom. And in the morning, there's Wilma having her breakfast. And it's a clear day, clear autumn day out there today. The sun's up, the frost has gone off the hills, off the islands, and it's all the green, greenery showing now. Some more islands. Let's prepare for another party. That's the guest list. They'll probably be mostly the same sims as were at the previous party. Looks like she's inviting mostly people that she knows. So being Wilma, it would be people from the previous party. And here are the guests arriving some time later. Carolyn's got a really high mixology skill so she can make drinks for her parties. As I said, once you've seen them having one party on the houseboat, you don't really need to see the, all of the parties. It's a lot of fun to play with all the parties, but we'd be here doing several episodes just on parties. And it's only one small part of what this series is going to be about. Looks like Wilma going up topside. One of the guests is going up there too. That's the person I think that she helped do the keg stand in the earlier party that Carolyn's talking to now. Nobody started dancing yet. They're too busy having fun doing other things. A lot of them are turning up with plates of food with nowhere to put them up top. Actually, I think there's a table right up at the very top. 
So he can put his food down up there if he wants to. Looks like there was no space. Oh yes, he's going around. If he can just squeeze through. Makes me want to fix it, the problem for him, but this was recorded way back in September 2017. It's a year ago when this was recorded, so I can't do anything about it for them, I'm afraid. I like how she's put coral on the houseboat. It's a nice touch and coloured those tails that are hanging there underneath the swimming sign. I'll finish off the parties with showing you the lights when they have a party and the houseboat at night. Because with all of those lasers going, it is quite a light show. Here we go, there's another party starting by the look of it. Or is it just the old party continuing? But it's getting dark. There's the laser lights on now. You can see them, and they're all around the boat. Once we get them all going, yes, there's lots of guests turning up at the moment. They're starting to dance on the dance floor. It looks much more impressive in the dark with those lights, the way it's lit up. This will be, oh, there's one more episode that I have, will follow this one that has pre recorded, and it's completely different to any episode you've seen before. And then I'll have to start playing the game through because I stopped playing it at that point knowing that I had so much already recorded that it was silly keeping on going and recording the game when I knew I wouldn't be able to do the videos for a long time. It's taken so long to get through all that was pre-recorded. And I've learned a lot about recording videos since then and I've got a new computer to record on and OBS Studio has been improved as well. There's been lots of upgrades to that in the 12 months since I recorded this. Those special effect lighting, that is from Showtime. And by now she has got the badge for throwing five parties on a houseboat. So congratulations Carolyn, she's got all five badges that I wanted her to get and she's done her lifetime wish of Seaside Saviour. And so we've solved the houseboat and now she's back at home in her first in her original house and she's starting to work on the science skill. And that will bring us to the end of the video. So I hope you've enjoyed Carolyn doing the badges for Isla Paradiso. There were a few that I already had, so she didn't have to do all of the Isla Paradiso badges, but she has completed the ones that I didn't have. She's got all of them for me now. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye for now, and happy simming.